This is Twit. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. Certificates open doors to entry-level IT positions and promotions for those already in the field. CompTIA courses with IT Pro from ACI Learning make it easy to go from daydreaming about that career in IT to launching it. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit to learn how you can elevate your skills. Hey, Leo and Micah, I've got a question for you. I've always wanted to call into the old radio show to ask this, but honestly, it's not a question worth radio. I know you guys both carry around man purses or mercies, <laughs> and um, I've been looking for the best one for myself. I've tried backpacks. I've tried e-bags. I've tried messenger bags. I want to see what you guys carry. Do you mind showing us? Oh, I don't have mine with me. Oh, I can't wait. I got to tell you. So the one that I carry with me most places, I found this bag on Amazon, okay, um, ages ago. And we'll, I'll send John Ashley the link to it. Um, it's just this little bag that has lots of zippers, which I like. Inside, there's a mesh uh, zipper that has a lot of my tech in it. And then this, this part on the front folds up. And inside, I've got a place to store pens and other things. I've got uh, my... Oh, goodness. What is it? The the YubiKey in there. And then also uh, my partner got me for Christmas this tool that's like a multi-tool so I can unscrew things and, you know, little bolts and whatnot uh, and an Apple AirTag in it as well. What's funny is um, I'm not a huge fan of The Walking Dead, but again, my partner is and we were watching an episode and the one of the main characters, Carol, I noticed that she was carrying this very bag uh, in the show. And then shortly after that, a friend of mine started carrying this bag, and I, it was in a different color. And then shortly after that, uh, my partner's grandma started carrying this bag Wow! Around. And so this has become a very popular bag. Um, I think it's because it's perfectly sized uh, and has so many different pouches and pockets in it that makes it quite nice. And then when it comes to work, this isn't so much a merce as it is like a tote bag, uh, but this is from, I believe it's from... Uh, N case from Belkin. Yeah. Um, and this has, what I like about it is that it is a sort of a long tote that you can, um, I, I put my, my laptop in here and it has plenty of space in the middle, but just this sort of tote shape that makes it very easy to carry on my arm and then two sides for putting a water bottle and whatever else I need in. Uh, so yeah, this is in cases, uh, bag and, oh, my favorite part is iPhone can slide right into this very um, nice and soft pocket. And this, tran this, this can transform from what it is now, which is uh, a tote that I can carry on my shoulder to a backpack. So it's got these clips here that clip uh, on the bottom and then these uh, sort of D-rings that clip into the sides of the strap and I can wear it as a backpack. And I took this to uh, the Apple event that I was invited to and it was handy to keep everything that I needed inside of. So between those two bags, I've got everything that I need. And again, um, I'll make sure John Ashley gets the links to these two. But yeah, one is kind of a not name brand uh, bag and it's quickly become a very popular bag that I see so many people carry. And then the other is this in case bag um that's a, a sort of tote slash backpack um but leo i know you like leather i like leather the bag i carry actually uh most of the time is just a saddle bag and then i got it in san diego uh at coronado leather and uh, i don't think they sell it online they may not even make it anymore but andy anotko has for years recommended a manufacturer and i'm i'm desperately trying to find the name it's, there it is, is it, Filson, oh. F-I-L-S-O-N. Now, he likes this Filson Rugged Twill field bag. I'm going to go right to Filson's uh, website because they uh, specialize <clears throat> in kind of expedition bags, American heritage outerwear and stuff. They do a lot of waxed stuff. I have a Filson bag that I, just looking at our, our collar, Yes. He looked like a rugged man's yes. man. Can mm -hmm. I say? A rugged guy. So Patrick Norton, who uh, I used to work with also, big, strong guy, used to carry a, like a 50-pound pack. He'd have everything in it. And so I, my little slim saddlebag is not for that kind of person. What I would recommend is a Filson uh, duffel pack. 
I have one of these. In fact, this is what I'm going to take on my trip. This can be jammed in uh, to the overhead. It's big enough. Duffels are, are great because they're big enough to store a week's worth of clothing in. And I think this is the one that converts into either a messenger style or a backpack or just a regular duffel that you carry. It does not wield. That's for it has. <laughs> you have to carry this sucker. I think this is the one. I'm, I'll bring it in next week. But uh, it has a back. It has a laptop uh, area, so you have a padded area to put your. I think this is the one. I may be wrong. Yeah. See a backpack or duffel, or sling it like a messenger pack. You see, there's the sling. Uh, the thing is, will never die. So you better like it, uh, because this is so tough. The Filson stuff is so tough. It'll never die. I like the flexibility of it because it's a duffel bag, but it can... And I'm trying to remember which one I got. This was a much more expensive one, the tin cloth. It might be I got this one. But certainly look at Filson's. Everybody has a different uh, kind of need for, for a bag, mm -hmm. what you want to carry, how heavy you want it to be, the style of carrying it, whether it's by hand or uh, or slinged like a messenger pack or as a backpack. I love it, the one I got, and I'm pretty sure it's the duffel pack, can go all three. So you really can decide. And it's big enough to hold uh, plenty of stuff, but it also has padding for a laptop. It has little, I always look for little uh, pouches so I can get extra yes, inside, yeah, wires and stuff in there. Andy recommended, and I, I really like it. I'll bring it in next week and I'll show you. A um, a grid thing with rubber straps that you From can put cocoon, yes. yeah, the cocoon, and that you could put little wires in. You slide that in. You slide your laptop in. You got everything you need. Filson makes amazing stuff. Lisa bought me a beautiful Filson leather bag that is kind of too fancy, frankly, for me to carry around all the time. But I'll bring that in as well. So I would I would take a look at uh, at these Filsons and then just decide. For instance, for some people who just want a side kind of messenger bag style this rugged twill field bag is great I, this is the one that andy carries and loves and they have them in a variety of uh, shapes and form factors the hardware is excellent that's one of the things i look for in a bag hardware and especially zippers that are not going to fall apart and break because that's the worst thing you got a beautiful bag and then the zipper breaks that's no good filson uh is making stuff for sportsmen for people who are out in the wild they make really nice stuff so this is if you if you want something and he looked like a man's man. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say. He had racks of stuff behind him. And he looked like a guy who would carry a 30, 40, 50 pound pack with no problem at all. Then you don't want the... There he is. Look at that guy. That's a guy who has a big backpack. He probably wears a utilicilt. <laughs> so for, for you, uh, I would definitely look at Filson. I will bring in... I, I wish I'd known we were going to have this question because I, I have... A variety, a lot. Yeah, you've got lots of bags. Oh, doctor sent me the cutest little bag. I thought that was funny because it's just this little thing. He sent me, that's a perfect European carry-on.